inflation report, the connection shown consists of A572 grade 50 still having a yield strength of 345 megapascal and a tensile strength of 450 megapascal. By small process, an 11 millimeter PLA welds were made using E70 electrodes. Which of the following most nearly gives the minimum weld size allowed? So again, we are asked to determine the minimum weld size. No? So we base natin yan sa thickness no inner part na nakakunay. So balikan natin ulit yung code natin para dyan. Tignan natin yung table for minimum size of fillet welds. Ayan. So sa figure, dalawa yung, dalawa yung plate natin. No? May plate tayo na ito, yung 25mm thick tsaka yung 19mm thick. So, ang mas manipis or thinner is yung 19. So, we base natin yung weld size dun sa 19mm thick na member. 19, so ibig sabihin, dito siya magpo-fall no? sa bracket na to or sa criteria na to. Thickness greater than 13 but less than or equal sa 19. No? So, therefore, the minimum size of the label is 6. So the answer is letter B. Next. Which of the following most nearly gives the maximum weld size allowed? So for maximum weld size, so ibibase naman natin siya dun sa thicker part. So ibibase natin siya dun sa 25 millimeter thick. That is greater than 6, no? So therefore, ang maximum size of PLA weld is T minus 2. Yung maximum weld size natin is T minus 2. Which is based lang dun sa thickness ng thicker. So 25 minus 2. So that is 23 millimeters. And the answer is letter C. Next. Which of the following most nearly gives the allowable value of P based on tensile yielding? So as you can see, class, yung dimension ng dalawang member given. So kailangan i-investigate natin parehas. So inayin muna natin yung 250 by 25 millimeter thick. So tensile yielding, we have Pn equals Fy. A sub G equals 345 times gross area of 25 by 250. So the nominal strength based on tensile yielding is yeah, 2156250. Next, i-base natin dun sa isa pang member, PL19 by 350. We have P sub N equals F sub Y A sub G equals 345 19 by 350. So 2294 250 Newton. So mas mababa yung sa 25 by 250, no? So therefore, ang allowable value of P natin. So i-compare natin yung demand versus capacity. So, tig isang plate lang yan, no? tig isang plate na magkaiba yung dimension. So, ang demand for both plates are the same, no? P, parehas P ang demand. So, the capacity, ang kukunin natin syempre is yung mas maliit na capacity galing sa PL25 by 250. So, we have 2156.25. Then, divide lang natin sa factor of safety ng yielding. Therefore, That is 1291.167665 kN. Okay? So that is letter B. Next, number 4. Which of the following most nearly gives the allowable value of P based on tensile rupture? Since the wells are longitudinal, so case 4 agad ito ng shear lag factor. Pero ayan. Nilagay ko na yung equation ng Sherlock factor na magamitin, no? But we have to solve ng dalawang beses kasi solve mo para dun sa isang plate, no? And then para dun din sa, para din dun sa isa. Unahin muna natin yung 25 by 250. So we have P sub N equals F sub U times A sub E. 
A E S U times A sub G. Compute natin yung value ng U. Ano yung mga isa substitute natin? Ang L is 250. Ang W is 250 din, no? And then ang X bar is base sa thickness. Kasi di ba sabi nga natin kanina, yung X bar is distance from the centroid to the plane of connection or yung interface, no? Ang thickness ng plate is 25, so this is 25 over 2. Solve natin yung Sherlock factor. U equals 3 times 250 squared over 3 times 250 squared plus 250 squared times 1 minus X bar over L, which is 250. Sherlock factor is 0 0.7125. So, substitute AE equals 0 0.7125 times natin ang gross area, which is 25 by 250. Four four five three point one two five millimeter squared. So, complete natin yung P sub N, we have 450 times AE. So, that is 2,3906.25 Newton. Ayan. So, in kilonewton, that is 2,3906.25 kilonewton. Okay, next is for PL, 19 by 350. Paano naman ang Sherlock factor natin for PL 19 by 350? So, compute natin yung A sub E. That is, so, ang magpaparehas is yung L. Siyempre, yung pa rin naman yung length ng welds. And then, yung W, same lang. No? Kasi yung W is yung distance between the welds. Eh. So, kanina, 250. Siyempre, considering the other plate, ganun pa rin naman, 250. Pero yung X bar, mag-iiba pala kasi thickness niya is 19, no? So, magiging 19 over 2. So, this is 9.5. Solve natin yung Sherlock factor. U equals 3, 250 squared divided by 3, 250 squared plus 250 squared. 1 minus 9.5 over 250. Okay? Ang Sherlock factor natin for PL19 by 350 is 0.7215. Okay? So, we can now compute the AE that is 0 0.7215 times natin ng gross area 19 by 350. That is 4797.97. Therefore, PN equals 450 times 4797.975. So that is 21159088.75 Newton. So in kilonewton, this is 2159. So ang mag govern between the two plates, syempre yung mas maliit, and that is yung 2003. Ito yung gagamitin natin in determining the allowable value of P. Okay? So, for the allowable value of P, again, we just compare the demand and the capacity. Ang demand is P and then ang capacity is 2003. 2003.90625. Divide lang natin ng factor of safety for tensile rupture, which is 2. Therefore, P is equal to 1,001.953125 kN. Okay? And that is letter B.